Question is anything that's been prescribed yes. unto you. Yes, sir. Everybody say prescription. prescription. Prescription is something that is only for you and was made for All you. Right. Right, Amen. Right. And so there's a prescription for every problem that you have. Come on, Pastor. There's something that you can uh, fight yeah, the devil on. with. Yeah, yeah. But the prescription God gave us here is in Mark 16 and 17. Yeah. And these signs yeah. shall follow oh, them that believe. Yeah. A prescription for being sad and yeah. hurt. A prescription for being depressed yeah. and down and out. Amen. These signs shall follow them that believe in my name. In my name. Everybody say, in my name. They shall what? Cast out devils. There are devils out here. Amen. Notice the first thing he said, they will cast out devils. You were saved to cast out devils. You were delivered to cast out devils. You were healed to cast out devils. Amen. Whatever devil's in your life, the devil of sadness, the devil of sorrow, the devil of sickness, whatever that devil is, cast them out. You got the power to cast them out. The word prescription means an instruction written by a medical practitioner that authorized to be provided a medicine or treatment. Amen. When then the doctor gives you the medicine, he doesn't just give you the medicine. He tells you how to use the yeah, medicine. Yeah. He on. has it written down, typed out on the prescription bottle as to how to take the medicine. Now, if you don't take the medicine the right way, then don't get angry if it doesn't seemingly work for you. Because right. you've got to follow the instructions. Look at the neighbor and say, follow the instructions. <laughs> And these signs shall follow them that believe. Oh, yeah. You got to believe. You're going to have to believe God. If you want to get healing, you got to believe it. Yeah. If you want deliverance, you got to believe it. Amen. And these Come signs on, shall follow them that believe. believe. Yes, sir. Those not the unbelievers, but the believers. Yeah. We got to believe God and say they shall speak with new tongues. All right. So you got to change your way of talking. Yeah. You got to change your way of saying things and say what the Bible says. Amen. With Christ and in Christ, I can do all things through Christ. Which strengthen is me. I can do what? All things through Christ which strengthen me. Say with me authorize. When you're authorized to do something, that means you've been given the permission and the ability to do it. If you yes. haven't been authorized to do it, then you're out of order. Right. When you haven't been authorized to do something, you can be fired. You yes. can be let go because you weren't authorized to do it. Right. You know, when I worked in the school system, uh, I had to deal with children that were uh, somewhat handicapped. I had to deal with some children that had problems uh, amen, mentally and so forth and so yes. on. Yes. And you were authorized to deal with them because... Uh, the what I went to school for, it authorized me to be able to handle them. Yes. And then when they got out of control and, and got angry and mad, you had to learn how to deal with them when they were in that condition. Yes. And you were authorized to do. And if you had Come to on, take man. them down, you had to oh, take Lord. them down right. because you were authorized to do it. And right. somebody say amen. Amen. That's a prescription for everything. Yes, do you man. want joy in your life? Do you want blessings in your life? Do you want the move of God in your life? But right. well, God has authorized a prescription that will help you get these things done. Yeah. It's called the B-I-B-L-E. Oh, That's the book for me. The, right. man, the Bible, somebody said the Bible. The Bible. The Bible says that we've been authorized to heal the sick, yeah. to raise the dead, Come to on. cast out devils. We've been authorized to do it. Yeah. Everybody said, I've been authorized. I'm authorized. Amen. So we as believers have been authorized by God to use the name of Jesus to heal the sick, to raise the dead, to cast out devils. Amen. And so you got to understand, you got to be legal today. Yeah. Amen. You just can't go around doing anything and everything. And, right. and you got to have a legal right to do what you All do. Right. You can't just walk up in somebody's house and say, I'm going to arrest you. You got to have be on legal grounds. All right. You got to be authorized to do it. Yeah. You, you say you're the police, you got to give them a warning and have, you got to have a warrant out for their arrest. All right. All you got to have a reason why you are picking them up, and if you don't, then you're going to be in trouble because right. you haven't been authorized to do it. Yes, sir. Hello, somebody. Hello. 
The police say, uh, I'm going to pull you over. Y'all been pulled over before. Oh, Amen. Yeah. We've been living in a day now before yeah. we get pulled over left and right. And, and you do have certain rights, amen. When they say pull over, you pull over. Yes, you do. And they said, let me see your license, show him your license. He has, he's been authorized to ask you those questions. Yes, don't get angry and don't get upset because he asked you to uh, produce those things. Huh. He's doing what he's supposed to do. Yes. Look at somebody say, he's been authorized. He's been authorized. So now, just like the police has been authorized to pull you over when you speak, and going beyond the speed limit right, don't Lord. you get an attitude know that you went beyond the speed limit yes. and just do what the authorized man telling you to do right. that's how you get in trouble amen not doing what they tell you to do amen some of you got to understand when the devil come on you you tell the devil you haven't been authorized to make me depressed you have been authorized to take my faith you have been authorized to, uh, to, to do these things you're doing Amen. You got to, where's your, where's your authorization, devil? Amen. Get out of my face. Yes. The Bible says I'm healed. I'm delivered. Right. The Bible says I don't have to die, but I shall live and not die. Right. And declare the works of the Lord. Lord. Can you say amen? Yes. Who told you if nobody's here, that God can't move? God is God. He's God yes. all by himself. Yes. You don't need nobody else. Amen. I don't need you to praise God. I don't need an organ to praise God. I don't need a drum to praise God. All I need is my mouth and my tongue. And I will open up my mouth and give God praise. I will lift him up. Amen. Amen. Lift him up. Somebody say lift him up. If I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. If I say prescription. For deliverance. Yeah. Is there anybody that need deliverance today? Yeah. Every one of us in this building need deliverance yeah. today. Yeah. I don't care how you look and how you try to act and wear your hat the way you wear it. Amen. But I want you to know when we all get through with this thing, we all need deliverance of some kind. God is here to deliver and God is here to set free. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they what? Cast out devils. Cast out. How many times have you cast out the devil? Right. When have you cast out the devil? Right. Well, that's why he's still around. You yeah. ain't cast him out. It says cast out the devil. It didn't say ask him to leave. It didn't say give him permission. Amen. It said cast him out. Yeah. Casting out means what? You are making a forceful effort. You are taking them by their cuffs and you're grabbing them by the neck and say, get out of here. Kick them in the Come seat on. of his pants. I say, get out of here. Look at somebody say, get out of here. Amen. Hey, you're not talking to the person. You're talking to the devils in the person. Amen. Right. Hey, somebody really rise up against you right now. Hey, Amen. But I want you to know that's a prescription. And when you got the prescription, you got the right to take the medicine that they're giving you. Yes, and if you take it the way they tell you to take it, it all to work. Yes. Some of y'all been cast, trying to cast out devils and the devil never did leave. <laughs> Why not? Because you didn't have the right prescription. Yeah, right. You didn't do what you were supposed to do. Right. So much shall glory to, glory to God. But you know what I've noticed and we're getting right about ready to close. But I want you to know that the Bible talks about things that hey. are legal. Did you not know things that are legal? You can't make the devil do anything that's not legal. Yeah. Amen. God will not do anything for you unless you got the legal right to ask for it. And what do you say legal? Jesus said to the devil, it is written. Right. Somebody say, it is written. It is written. Man, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. It is written. In other words, it, 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 it's, it's a law. It's written. Amen. And everything that you go to do in life, did you ever notice it's written down? When you were born, I was born September 7, 1955 on Wednesday at 8.30 in the morning at Methodist Hospital in Gary, Indiana. But it was written down that I was born. And that's why they recognize me to be who I am. Because they have written, they call a birth certificate. So I said birth certificate. I look at somebody say, I've been born again. I got birth certificate. Said, I've been born again. I've been born from sin into the life. I've been born as an enemy of the uh, 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 of God's kingdom. And God said, Now nah, I'll save you if you accept my son Jesus. 
I'll save you if you come under the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hey. Look at your neighbor and say, I got a legal right. Got a legal right. Come on, tell somebody, I got a legal right, got a legal right. to be here. I got a legal right yeah. to praise the Lord. Yeah. Somebody say, it is written. Yeah. Some of you don't like the husband you got. Some of you don't like the wife you got. Well, you can get rid of them. It's called a divorce. But that's a written documentation that says I'm divorcing you. Well, I got a divorce. I was married to the devil. And I had to get a divorce. I had to say, devil, get off my case. I don't want you anymore. I kicked the devil out of my life. And I began to walk with the king. So I began to walk with the king. Hallelujah. I'm walking with the king. Every day I'm walking with the king. When I go to the doctor and whatever sickness I have, I may have the flu, yes, but the doctor writes a prescription. And that prescription tells me what to take and how to take it. And if I do what they say on, do on the bottle, I'll be healed and I'll be get delivered from that situation. Yes, the police will tell you to stop. And now let me tell you, if you was going 90 miles an hour right. in a 20 mile hour place, okay. they're going to give you a ticket. Right. And that ticket is a written documentation. Yes, I'm on my way to heaven because yes, I got my ticket in yeah. my hand. My Bible yes. says I'm saved. Yeah. My Bible says I'm delivered. Y'all yeah. might want me to preach today. Okay. But I just come to tell you that's a legal document yes, that's written. A child is born. Yeah. I have one child in this world. Yeah. Uh, that that I know of. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have one child in this world. And she's a good child. Yeah. But uh, I got proof that she's my child. Yeah. I got a birth certificate that says she was born in 1982. Right. She was born January 26, 1982. Right. Uh, I got a certificate on her. Right. I got papers on her. Right. I got a wife uh -huh. that I'm married to. Right. I don't have any concubines. Right. But I got a wife on, that right. said March 14. Right. 1981. I got a marriage certificate that, that said I'm saved uh, from all the rest of y'all because she's my wife. Uh, somebody say amen. Somebody say amen. Ah, uh, glory. If you come to the United States of America, you can only stay so long if you haven't been born here. But I've been born again. I'm born into the kingdom of God. I'm a citizen of the Lord. Shout glory. Shout glory. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you got to die sometime. I know you want to live, but that's going to come a day just as sure as you were born. That's coming a day you got to die. And when you die, you know what they're going to do? But then you draw your last breath, they're going to give you a certificate, write out a certificate. Yeah. It's called a death certificate. Yeah. And they're going to give it to the, um, the funeral director. Yeah. And they're going to say, yes, this man is dead. Yeah. And they're going to uh, they say, pronounce you dead. Yeah. And they give you a certificate. Yes, sir. Now, I, I can wait on that certificate. Yes, sir. Uh, some of y'all got certificates at home on your wall. Yeah. You went to high school and graduated. Yeah. You barely graduated, but you graduated. Yeah. Yeah. It don't make no difference. You had a D average. Yeah. Yeah. You got your certificate that I came out. Yeah. Yeah. You get your name and said, I came out. Yeah. Yeah. I graduated. Ah, yeah. oh, glory. Yeah. A written document is necessary to make a thing legal. Yeah. Yeah. You see, I got my Bible. Somebody said, Bible. I got my Bible yes, to tell the devil to stop what you're doing. Yes, I got a legal right to make you stop them yes, because the Bible says, Great is he that is in me and he that is in the world. The Bible said, The Lord is on my side. What can man do? The Bible said, If I sin and mess up, it says, The Bible says, I'm able to go to Jesus. 
and confess my sins. He's faithful and just to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. How many you know say I'm saved? How many you know you're saved? Say I'm saved by his power divine. I'm saved through his life supply. Life is not sweeter. My joy is complete. For I'm saved. I'm saved from the junk. So I say, I'm saved. Saved. Because I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. I think I might preach today. So I shout glory. So I shout glory. I'm legally in the hands of Jesus. When I tell the devil to loose me, he's got to loose me. Because I'm in the hands of the Lord. Shout glory. Shout glory. Some of y'all are legally blind. You can't see nothing. Some of y'all are legally blind spiritually. You can't see that's the devil you're trying to hang out with. You can't see that's the devil you're talking to on the phone. You need to hang up that phone. Amen. And get rid of that person. Because that's not of God. If you be in Christ, you are a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are you. I may write a song. I say I may write a song. If I write a song, if I don't want you to take my song, Mother Lucia, I get it copyrighted. When I get it copyrighted, it's my song. And when you see that song, say the song written by Pastor Frank Harris. Shock Lord. Oh, I've been redeemed. I've been redeemed. Christ has redeemed me from the sin and the law of sin. The Bible says, you might as well help me preach today. The Bible says, the second Kings 19 and 14, and Hezekiah received the letter of the hand of the messenger and read it and, he, and Hezekiah went up into the house of the Lord and spread it out before the Lord. Somebody said, spread it out. Whatever you got that you want God to get rid of for you, spread it out before the Lord. I want y'all to do an exercise this week. What is it that you want God to do in your life? What is it that you want God to deliver you from? Get a piece of paper. Get a pencil or pen. Write it down. And spread it out before the Lord. Say, Lord, I'm tired of being bound. Lord, I'm tired of being sick. Lord, I'm tired of being by myself. Lord, I need that home. I need that new car. Spread it out before the Lord. I heard the Bible says in Habakkuk 2 2. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision, make it plain upon tables that he may run and read it. In. For the vision is yet not for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Go in tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come on. It will not tarry. Look at your neighbor. Preach to your neighbor today. Say, neighbor, it shall, it shall come to pass. I'm talking about your prescription. How many have your prescription with you today? Did you bring your Bible? That's your prescription. The Lord says, you don't have to be sad. You don't have to be hurting. You don't have to be sick. And you don't have to die. The Bible says, 2 Chronicles 7.14 If my people which are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and I will heal the land Lord heal the land the land is needing healing say yes somebody say yes I got a scripture for you Pastor, preach to me. All right, I'll preach to you. The Bible says in Psalm 68 and 1, let God arise 
and let his enemy be scattered. Let the enemy be scattered. Lord, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I believe I'll wait. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I don't mind waiting. The light thyself also in the Lord, and He shall give thee the desires of your heart. Stop wanting and worrying about this. God said, I'll give you even the desires of your heart. The Bible says in Isaiah 54 and 17, no weapon that's formed against thee shall prosper. And every time that rise up against you, judgment, thou shalt condemn the Bible. Says in Isaiah 43, remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing, and now it shall spring forth. Look at someone say, God's gonna do a new thing. I'm gonna do a new thing. Say, God's gonna do a new thing. I wish I had a church here today. God said, I'm going to bring you out. Look at your prescription. Look at the next day. Look at your prescription. I perceive a new anointing is coming upon you. I perceive a fresh hope in Christ is coming. I prescribe the joy in the midst of sorrow. I prescribe the strength in weakness. I prescribe faith in the midst of the storm. I prescribe peace in the midst of trouble. I prescribe the fire of the Holy Ghost is going to fall on you. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, take your medicine. Take your medicine. What's your medicine? My medicine said, prayer, fasting, faith in God, and the reading of the word. Tell your neighbor, take your medicine. Get your prescription out. Get your prescription out. Read what it says. And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. Shall they cast out devils? They shall speak with new tongues. If they bring in and take the thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and the sick shall recover. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, shake your neighbor's hand. Shake it till you shake it off. Say, neighbor, I shall recover. Someone say, I shall. Cause I'm walking with the king, but I got the devil's balls. I, I declare I won't be sick anymore. I declare I won't be hurt anymore. I won't be depressed anymore. But if God be for me, who can be against me? Somebody said, Jesus. Somebody said, Jesus. Lift the other body. Jesus. Right in morning star. Jesus. The bearers of yeah. Some of you are sitting down. You know? said, why is pastor sitting in a chair? Because some of y'all went somewhere and sat down. Stop doing the work of the Lord. You went somewhere and sat down. And God, and we look down. But I said, get up. Get up. That's work to be done. Get up. God called you to walk by faith and not by sight. I'm going to run. I believe I run on. See what the end gonna be. I believe I run on. See what the end gonna be. The Lord. So I said, the Lord is on my side. If God be for me, who can be against me? Say yeah.
get your prescription. Read it again. It says his anger endured by the moment. His favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night. But joy. y'all taking y'all prescription. Amen. Y'all taking y'all prescription. That's why you're as nutty as you are. Because you've been taking your prescription. That's why you feel sick in the spirit and not taking your prescription. He prescribed something to you. Remember a prescription. I can't take your prescription. It won't work for me because I don't have the same thing that you have. Even if I did, it's a little different than a strand of germs and whatever I got. It look different from yours. Yeah, all right. So I gotta be scribe, get, get it prescribed right. what the doctor gave me. Right. Right. Amen. Stop trying to look at other folk and how they getting blessed right. and say I ain't getting blessed. Look at your prescription again. Yeah. Yeah. He's prescribed something exactly for you. Yes, sir. Amen. I remember when I got my checkup. Amen. And I went to the doctor uh -huh. and they took all these blood tests. They took so much blood tests, I said, oh, I thought, will I have any blood left? Oh, Jesus. And there were all these big old things of blood. Uh -huh. yes. Amen. And they had something to check out for everything. Uh -huh. yeah. Amen. And the result came back. Everything was good. All right. All right. Yeah. Everything was good. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. They checked the blood. Everything they needed to check, yeah. they checked for. Uh -huh. Amen. And, and they could find it in the blood. Right. Somebody said the blood. The blood. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but, Nothing the, but the blood of Jesus. Yes. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Somebody said nothing but the blood. Somebody forgot what I told you. I gave you an assignment today. I'm going to repeat it now. The assignment is whatever you want from God, whatever you really need from God, write it down in your own handwriting. Get to a place of prayer in a room that you can get by yourself. Yes, Spread Lord. it out before the Lord yes. and say, Lord, this is what I need. Thank Lord, you, this Lord. is what I desire. Thank you, this Lord. is what is on my heart. Yes. And spread, I say, spread it out spread. before the Lord. Thank I need Lord. healing. I need deliverance. Yes. Hallelujah. It's all in his hand. Yes. It's all in his hand. Yes. Whatever yes. you need is in his hand. Are y'all going to obey me and do what I tell you today? Amen. Amen. As soon as you go home, amen. I'm not telling you to do something I'm not going to do. I'm not right. do. I got some desires. Yeah. I got some yeah. things I want God to do. Yeah. I've been preaching a long time. Yeah. Been preaching since I'm 13 years old. Uh -huh. 64 now. Woo. Hallelujah. And there's some things I want God to do. Yeah. I didn't give up. Amen. I, well, many times I was ready to give up. Many times I've talked about giving up. Yes. But the bottom line, I'm still here. Yes. Look at your name and say, I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm still here. Do it for me.
everybody come down and stand on the floor. Come on, put your hands on the floor.